I talk a lot about core and satellite investing here on Meaningful Money. So I thought it'd be worth taking five minutes or thereabouts to explain what I mean by it and why I think it's a great way for ordinary people to think about their investing. Welcome, welcome to another Five Minute Friday here on Meaningful Money. Now, I have no idea where the idea, the concept of core and satellite investing came from. Certainly somebody more intelligent than me, but who cares? Let's look at what it actually means. So let's put five minutes on the clock down here. Say a quick thank you to my friends at Seven Investment Management for continuing to sponsor the show. And let's crack on. I think that core investing is perfectly adequate for most people, particularly if you have no time or no inclination to be really hands-on with your investments. What do I mean by a core? Well, I mean passive multi-asset investing. Now, if I had a quid for every time I've said that on this podcast and on these videos, I'd have a few quid. Passive multi-asset, what does that mean? Passive means we track markets rather than trying to beat them. And multi-asset means we spread our money around in lots of different kinds of things and across the world into different geographic jurisdictions. If you do that, track markets, spread the money around the world, your money will grow over time. There are decades of research data that shows that will be the case. Of course, all investments should be done over the long term. And sometimes it does take a long term for your money to grow in this way, but it always will. So core investing, this passive multi-asset approach is a long-term game with no tinkering along the way. You just invest the money, keep adding to it over time, of course, and just let the markets do their thing. But for those who want to be a little bit more hands-on, taking an interest in managing their money, the core and satellite approach is perfect. Why? Because it means that the majority is looking after itself on a long-term basis, but the satellite, the little extra bits around the side, that's the bit where you can maybe add some value, have some fun with, do things a little bit differently. Differently? Well, how? What do I mean by that? Firstly, if the core is passive, we're tracking markets, the satellite maybe can be actively managed. So maybe you have a pet fund manager that you really like, you've sort of tracked his or her progress over the years and you really believe in what they're doing and so you want to give them some of your money to invest. Well, you can do that by all means and do that in a satellite holding round the side. This isn't the time for a passive versus active debate. I've answered that question before. Me, I believe that the core should be passive but that active investment has its place. And for me, the best place for active investment is in a satellite holding around the side and not the main deal. Maybe if your core is multi-asset, your satellite can be more specialized and focused. So maybe you have an interest in a particular field or in a particular geographical area and you can find a fund or an index tracker that will focus on that particular field or geographical area. If the core is slow and steady and predictable over time, maybe your satellite can be a little bit more punchy. Let's say you're a balanced investor. That's your overarching risk profile. Well, maybe with your satellite holdings, that can be an adventurous approach. So you take a little bit more risk, but you're not betting everything on it. It's just a part of what you're doing rather than the whole. And therefore, if you get some significant losses in that area, it's confined to the satellite. It won't do too much damage to the whole. Maybe it's still passive, maybe it's still multi-asset, but it's dialed up the risk spectrum. So why might you consider this core and satellite approach? Well, firstly, and no offense meant, it takes your failings out of the equation when it comes to your long-term financial success. You see, most of us have no idea what we're doing when it comes to investing, and most of us don't have the inclination or the time to learn and practice what is necessary to be really successful at it. What I call core investing, the passive multi-asset approach, hands over responsibility for growth and success to the markets themselves, and they will never let you down given a long enough time scale. You're relying on capitalism, the best way that we as a species have evolved to make money and grow wealth. You're relying on that to do its thing. And by relying on it, it's unlikely that you as an individual, as an amateur investor, are likely to do anything which is gonna catastrophically mess up your future. And the satellite portion of your investment means that if you're gonna muck it up, you're only gonna muck up a small part of it, letting the 
core continue its work of moving you towards financial security. Think of it this way, I never ever go on rides at fun fairs. Why? Because I'm thinking the shirtless goon with a fag in his mouth probably doesn't have an engineering degree. And it's him who's been responsible for setting up and taking down the ride that I'm thinking of going on. I don't want to entrust my life to that guy, and neither do I want to entrust my financial future to my own ineptitude. I would rather let markets do their thing and only tinker around the side with the stuff which isn't going to make or break my financial future. You know, if you are interested in investing, the core and satellite approach means that you can wet your feet a little bit and tinker and experiment without betting the farm. And in turn, that should free you up to be a little bit more decisive, maybe take a bit more risk, push the envelope a little bit, which may well pay off for the future. And in turn, I think that would probably make the process more enjoyable if that's your thing. For what it's worth, my pension is arranged exactly as I'm talking about now. So 80% of my pension fund is split between two passive multi-asset funds. No, I'm not gonna tell you which ones they are. Can't really do that. The other 20% is split two ways, roughly 10% in each. One is a technology index tracker fund because I love technology. So that's pretty heavy in things like Facebook and Google and all that sort of stuff. And the other 10% is in an active manager who I've admired for a long time exactly what I've suggested in this video. So my pension is actually 90% passive and 10% active because I've only got one active manager in there. It's 80% multi-asset, 20% much more focused, and it's pretty much in line with my risk profile with maybe the satellite stuff nudged up a little bit because it's more focused and hence by definition, more risky. And I'm fine with that, but I want you to know that I practice what I preach here. But we're all individuals, so you need to understand what makes you comfortable and invest accordingly. Okay, I hope that gives you some ideas to what I mean by core and satellite. Don't get too hung up with the percentages. It's most and a little bit, really. For me, that's about 80-20. For some, it can be 85-15 or 90%, 10%. Don't get too hung up on that. The idea is that it's most of your pot and a little bit around the side, a core and a satellite. Any questions, just leave them under the video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday for another 5-Minute Friday video.